to London Lips YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new and welcome if you're not. So welcome everybody, especially, you know, we've got a lot of new subscribers as well. Welcome to the channel. So we're talking about gigs, how did gigs get the gig? Now, gigs came onto social media before and he was upset that people have criticised him for being friends with P. Diddy. Now, Giggs said, you know, no one can bring no funny shit around a bad man. And basically that we need to just cut the crap. Nothing's going on, been going on with them too. Now, if you know Diddy's history and his reputation, it is extremely hard to believe. Because Diddy has a reputation and it's one that is extremely clear to everybody that no man gets untouched or unapproached by Diddy when in his company. Diddy seems to make advances at everybody. Diddy is known for being naked at meetings when discussing, you know, business, and he's known to take advantage of people who want to be in the industry. What are you talking about? You've never seen me done nothing questionable, nothing weird. Always kept it 100, never sold out. How dare you? throw dirt on my name but this is what it is anyway I tell you whatever's going on in life whatever you're going for anything anyone who talks shit about you or chats shit or just disrespects your thing they've never liked you in the first place anyway now if Giggs family and friends are questioning what happened to him with Diddy that's the right thing for them to be doing because they're probably concerned about him because Diddy has allegedly got many many victims. Now Diddy likes to invite guys to his party and he doesn't care your status you can be you know anybody massive you can be big like 50 cent he will still invite you to one of his parties and he will still make it very clear of what his intentions are towards you so with gigs having such you know let's be honest hardly any fame in comparison to p diddy it is very hard to believe that diddy would choose him to work with so for diddy to have picked gigs there's only one reason he could have picked him and it's probably because you know he had the intention of maybe grooming him you know, grooming him, being intimate with him, making moves on him. The only other reason he could have picked gigs is if he wants to bring his trafficking, alleged trafficking movement to the UK. And maybe he thought gigs would be able to, you know, get women to, you know, get women that he could basically use to traffic. Now, as far as I know, gigs is straight, but Diddy doesn't care if a guy is straight or not. That does not seem to bother him at all he doesn't have a particular type of guy that he goes for from all the allegations that have came out and the different guys that Diddy's meant to have moved to they all have got different looks he doesn't care if you're you know massive you're muscly you're skinny you're younger you're older you're white you're black you know he doesn't care he also doesn't really care about your gender you can be male you can be female possibly transgender you know Diddy is on everybody and he likes every type of a look. And I can't see why he would have worked with Giggs and not wanted to have Giggs be at one of his freak-offs. I mean, everyone else has been invited to the party. Everyone else has been invited to, you know, the freak-offs. And I really find Giggs is very unlikely to be the exception. I mean, if Diddy had the balls to move to, like, Meek Mill, 50 Cent, and Usher... And all these other guys, he most definitely would move to gigs. Gigs is exactly what he would like, you know, a guy who is, you know, famous but wants to make it bigger, a guy that needs to crack America and knows he has got the contacts, a guy that, you know, is probably thirsty to, you know, reach his height of his fame. And did he probably told him, I'm the guy that can help you do that? I mean, it's not impossible that gigs is just a DL brother. And he's going there with DD anyway. I mean, the body language is there from what I'm seeing. It's like, I'm seeing the body language there. Like, Diddy's just gassed because Diddy's always happy to be around the man them. And, you know, maybe Giggs, you know, is possibly a down-known brother. I don't know. Or maybe he's just so happy to be in Diddy's company and he don't know what is to come. You know, he don't know what Diddy's got planned for him. But if Diddy's got something planned for him, I can tell him right now it ain't going to be nothing PG. Or staying in the light. Staying in the light is so important. There's so many like negative forces and so many things that want to pull you to do something or make you respond or just pull you just down into just that dirty, nasty frequency. 
fuck that. Stay in the light. Let's vibrate higher. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get all that sun. Shit, I ain't, I ain't getting out the light. I'm in the light. I am the light. So. Now, when Diddy says stay in the light, he means do your dirt in public. So that's why your sign Diddy is always in public with his victims. That's why you've seen him in public with Cassie. That's why you see him moving with, you know, gigs. That's why you'll see him with 50 Cent. You'll see him with Bieber. You'll see him with all these men he's allegedly made moves on. Meek Mill. He'd be around all of the men and he'd be moving in the light because sometimes when you see somebody in your face with people, you don't really see what is actually going on. And that's what he means. He's going to move blatantly in your face with what he's doing. That's why he's been accused of so many things and he's still coming out in public. Giggs has danced with the devil, broke bread with the devil, spent time with him, possibly been moved to, possibly been in bed with the devil, or these things were going to happen to Giggs. Or maybe Giggs just got lucky and got away from Diddy before he was violated. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another one.